Hi everyone and welcome to your weekend express tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective message for all signs. We're just going to go ahead and see what the cards are predicting for you for this weekend here. Okay, it is going to be a general reading. So please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. The Two of Pentacles energy warns you that you're overcommitted right now at this particular point in time, okay? You're doing too much. You're saying too much. You're doing too much. You're also struggling to maintain a sense of control here. Others might not be able to see it, but I feel like the stress of taking on too much, okay? Whether you're taking on too much worry, you're taking on too much um, anxiety, you're taking on too much work, whatever it is that you're doing too much of, you the stress of it is getting to you so you need to find a way to uh, maybe try and just turn down this anxious stressful energy or you need to find a way to like f find a way to turn away any any opportunities that are just not in alignment with you your goals um and where it is that you're going so you're it feels like you you know you're over investing in one area of your life and other areas of your life are losing balance so for example if you're putting so much effort and time into your career your family life your partner or your relationships are suffering in the process right um the the other message is i'm getting when is enough enough with a certain situation okay something's got to give i don't know when enough is going to be enough for you or for this person whatever that means um, also, Five of Wands in reverse here. Uh, you're the end of a conflict. The end of a conflict or the end of some sort of tension. Um, harmony. Okay, some sort of... You're harmonizing a situation here uh, this weekend. Uh, or it feels like you're maybe... You're working through troubles here. You're working through um, your own troubles. You're in your own turmoil. You're, work, you're working through troubles. Some sort of tension with the connecting energy, with the romantic energy, with the friend here. It feels like something has been brewing up within you. Okay, It could be something personal though. So you may have some unaddressed emotions, some unaddressed... Uh, issues some unexpressed emotions you need to if you're not working through the through these uh through this conflict uh, you need to address it and you need to work through this conflict as well because uh, to me it feels like in the past you've had troubles working through something here and it's been brewing and it's just getting to the point where it really needs your attention here okay so you've been bottling up something inside of you because you've been avoiding dealing with it or you've been avoiding dealing with a certain person because you feel like it's gonna lead to an argument you feel like you're just gonna add more you know add fuel to tension here remember that everyone has the right to their opinion everyone has the right to their needs here and you know having your own needs your own personal needs it doesn't make you any less lovable it doesn't make you a burden as well so speak up you know what's bothering you get it out there okay um you know or if it's not necessarily with anyone else and if it's internal then you need to address that internally okay so express yourself honestly here so you can clear up you know what is it that's bothering you where, where are certain emotions where are they coming from where's the trigger points there okay this we can really take the time to do that because i feel like maybe that's why you're so imbalanced maybe that's why you're only giving so much of your time and your attention to one area of your life and not the other. Um, I'm seeing you're making some sort of progress or some sort of movement here. Um, you're getting you're one step closer here to some sort of goal, to achieving a goal, uh, a project that you're working on. It's something that you're quite proud of, okay? And again, if you don't feel like it resonates with you, maybe you know there is something here that you've been meaning to to do you've been meaning to get to but you've been putting it off 
trust me, you're going to feel that much better for it if you give it your time and your attention because, hey, let's be honest here, some things have fallen to the wayside, okay? You've been putting, maybe you've been spending too much time with, you know, your partner here that everything else has fallen to the side. So whatever it is, you know what it is, something that you've been meaning to do, whether it's a creative project, whether it's making a phone call, sending that text message, catching to cup, sorry, catching up uh, with a girlfriend um, or with a mate here, whatever it is, stop putting it off. Because that's A, that's going to help you, you know, that's going to get one thing done off your list, but it's also going to, you're going to feel better for it. I feel like there's a sense of, accomplishment that comes with whatever this is for you memories this weekend uh, I, i'm getting mixed emotions here with the six of cups energy um some of you are go going to find yourself quite nostalgic here i feel like some of you are going to either look back through a lot of photos you could pull out like a photo album um some of you i feel like maybe you're going to like accidentally encounter um Something that I feel like is going to flood back a lot of memories for you. So you might potentially hear from someone from your past, an ex here. Um, someone might connect with you. Someone might contact you. Uh, you might be contacting with someone because you feel quite, you're feeling very nostalgic here. You could be watching, like re-watching some, some of your, um, some old films that you grew up with or that you really loved as a child. Some old Disney animated films. Or just something that you really loved. You could go back to doing something that you really loved as a child here. Maybe this is something that you need to get on to. It feels like you're either going back to something. Or you're kind of revisiting the past. Which is why I'm getting a strong notion of memories coming up for you very strongly. You might hear from someone. And they hearing from them is going to... Well, it's going to bring back a nostalgia fit. You'll feel, you won't feel sad, there's not a, there is a sense of sadness, there is, I mean, nostalgia, you know, but it, it doesn't feel like you're sad to hear from this person, or you're sad that they've contacted you, you're sad that those days can't be recreated, you're sad that, you know, you don't get the same moment twice, That that's why you're sad, you're sad because what's happened here is gone, you know, it's, it's a, a part of your past. That's the kind of sadness that I get. Children are going to be a children are going to be a, a big deal for you this weekend. Um, I don't know if some of you are working with children, working closely with children. Some of you might be, uh, I don't know, you might be uh, taking out your your own children or your nephews or nieces or cousins here um, for an outing of some sort. You could be writing a children's book as well. Or otherwise, I feel like you're reconnecting to. Something that you really love doing as a child or something that really brings out your inner child. Um, you could also connect with someone here this weekend who reminds you of the past a lot. Okay, so in your energies, it feels like your energies really play well with each other. Three of Swords, I'm seeing that there's something here that's happened, it feels very raw, so it's something that's happened quite recently for a lot of you. Something someone said or done, it feels like they've rejected you, okay, you feel rejected by this person. Maybe not, they didn't outright reject you, but you've messaged someone and they didn't respond, or they didn't respond the way you hoped for them to respond, or... So it just feels like you feel rejected by a, a person or a situation here. That's not how this is. That's not how I perceive this for you. It feels like you didn't reject them. You repel them. Sorry, they didn't reject you. You repel them. Your energies don't play well with this person or something here is just not ready to happen right now for you. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for you a couple of weeks or a couple of months or even a couple of years from now. Hopefully not that long for some. But... It can't happen right now. For whatever reason, the universe doesn't want something to go ahead right now. You're not ready. They're not ready. This thing isn't ready. So you didn't reject them. Sorry, they didn't reject you. You repel them here. It's a redirection as well. You've been redirected onto someone else or onto something else. So whatever it is that you feel, you're feeling the sting of rejection here very strongly. 
um, you need to see it very differently. You need to see it for what it is, which is a redirection. Okay, um, and I feel like that will help lessen that pain just a little bit. If not by a whole lot, then at least by a little bit here. Okay, guys, and these are your quick weekend messages. Hopefully these have been helpful for some of you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.